Last week's winter storm has broken and mangled many trees in the hill country. Branches are scattered alongside roads and on people's yards. There's been so much damage in some places, officials had to stop accepting debris because they didn't have enough space. KXN's Sarah Alshea explains why many say losing these trees has left them heartbroken. Twigs and branches scattered all across Carrie Napierkowski's backyard in Dripping Springs. Whoa! She is one of many devastated by the damage from last week's winter storm. This was just filled with majestic heritage oaks and old pecan trees and uh, to look at it now is very heartbreaking. Many of her trees destroyed. We bought it purely for the property because of all the magnificent trees. Not only us, so many people are mourning their trees. The cleanup process continues for Napierkowski as well as for others like the nonprofit Austin Disaster Relief Network. They have more than 1300 requests across Central Texas for help. The need is great and and we're engaging with churches from across our community as well as other agencies to assist in that need. In Dripping Springs, much of the tree debris comes here to Dripping Springs Ranch Park. It's almost 10, 12 feet at some places. But with so much coming in, the city had to close it until further notice. <laughs> trying to get rid of what they have to accept more. Uh, what we're waiting on is the county to provide us with chipper shredders so we can chip this up, shred it up, and you know, make more room so that we can open back up. For Napierkowski, the cleanup is expected to be costly and take months, but she says thankfully her family is here to help, including some strong but little hands. I'm, get, I'm getting the tween back to normal. Sarah Olshek, KXAN News. And here in Austin, the city tells us its crews took care of 70 debris removal requests today. 950 requests have been addressed since the beginning of the storm. And the Parks and Rec Department is also helping to clear downed trees and debris.